I'm Sir SirTapTap and welcome to Let's Play Prio by Daniel Davis Games. A game by Daniel Davis, coincidentally. It's funny how these things happen. So this is a very pretty physics-y, puzzly game, I guess. I, I, I'm going in pretty blind, honestly. It just looks really good, so I just decided to play it. I'm sorry. So we can double jump. Hello, Parker. What are you doing? Cut that out. Oh. So obviously, gamepad recommended for toggly reasons. Oh, we didn't. I see. Okay. So I can see why gamepad is recommended already. Oh, we can wall jump. I'm in fact testing out my uh, Parker. What? What is in? What is interesting in there? Oops. The colors are in fact. Determined by the uh, you know, standard color just on an Xbox gamepad. Parker! Crinkle! You just scared run away, thank you. I don't. He found something fun. I'm not sure what it is, but he found something fun in the um, little storage unit I have next to the desk, and he just. He really wants what's in there. I. Oop. Reminds me a teeny bit of uh, Sun and Moon. Um, very different gimmick, of course. But Parker, there's nothing in there for you. What is your deal? Dang it. Ah, okay. Uh, why? All right. So we're getting to the coordination tests here already. See, so, oop, Parky. In fact, the music kind of reminds me of uh, Sun and Moon too. That's a game by Daniel Linson. Parker. I might have to go ahead and turn on V-Sync. I need a G-Sync monitor one of these years, but uh, honestly, um, V-Sync doesn't- oop. I see! The plot thickens up. Parker! There's nothing in there! Go away! <sighs> he probably found like a rubber band or something. Every time he's like super excited to play with something. I always know it's not a toy, because he's like, barely interested in any of his toys, but he's like, Ooh, rubber band. Delicious, yes. Okay, I see now why. Alright. Get a little complex here. I'm actually testing out, I forget if I mentioned this, testing out my Xbox One Elite controller. Um, it's pretty dang good! It, um, material-wise, it definitely feels like what you might expect out of a, you know, $150 controller. I, honestly, I hated buying the adapter, the $25 adapter, more than I did the $150 controller, because it's just like, I already have, um, ugh. I'm getting my buttons confused. I'm actually way more familiar with the um, PlayStation button layout and colors than I am with the Xbox One. They're, they're kind of default on PC now, but even still. Um, also, the Xbox One Elite doesn't have the, you know, kitty colors on it anyway. I, I don't really mind colors on gamepads, but I, I the Xbox One Elite controller really does look a lot, you know, it looks professional and nice. Um, I, hang on, I'm activating my PS4's wonderful voice features somehow, I, I should, when did I, oh, I said PlayStation, uh, that's, that wakes it up, or it doesn't wake it up, but it turns on the voice command. I was playing some Estival Versus, which, depending on when this video releases, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to talk about it in this video, so never mind. Um, embargoes are weird when, you know, a game is already out in a different region, but whatever. Um, so how do I, oop, oop, okay, wait, what, ah, the, the buttons, okay, that, that's the square button, I need to, you know, it would be cool if more games, like, some games have, I think the swapper had, um, uh, actually had a mode, or an, an option to give you PlayStation button prompts instead, I would kind of appreciate that if more games had that. And so, like, in this game, it would be, like, let you have PlayStation colors. Because even though I'm using an Xbox controller, 
I'm actually so much more familiar with the PlayStation colors. It's like blue. Blue is down. And that's weird. And it's like it's not like I can actually look at my controller. Well, my controller isn't colored, like I said, but it's not like. It's more about the mentality of which button is or which colors which button than it is like actually ma matching the controller in my hand because damn it, I'm not looking at the buttons anyway. It's just I associate blue with down and yellow is just like what? That's not a that's not a color. I've never seen this color in my life. Um, I don't have any. I don't have. Well, I have some things against Xbox controllers. Most of the D-pad of the 360, but um, I like the Xbox controllers. I just so. Uh oh, right. This is reminding me now of Soft Body with these turret things. That's another cool puzzle, I guess. Very different, but sort of reminds me with these turrets. Um, ah, the X. No. Like, let's just get these out of the way first. That was... Oh, right. I can only get half. Hmm. All right. Ah, oh, no! All right, let's do the dangerous ones first, I guess, then. Damn it! Okay. I'm not pulling too many punches here. I did notice the snarky, the first of many or something, Chivo, when we got ten deaths off oh, of Pete's sake. For f that perfect timing. All right. No. Oh man, that is so. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do these first, just because I keep dying to them. They're just so much more dangerous. Okay. No. I hope we get a break and have like easier levels after this one. Sheesh. Okay. Okay. No! That fucking... That, that delay gets me every time. Okay. Mm. Ah. For crying out loud. Can we skip levels? I don't know. I'm so close, but... I kind of want to skip. I can do this though. I like this lighting. I think Gish. Gish is the first time I saw this sort of lighting. I rather like it. No! How do I get. How am I supposed to get that last fucking one? That is. Okay, like that, I guess. Okay, just. Collect my thoughts for a second there. Alright. Collecting my thoughts worked. Oh no, son of a- Oh, are you f- Ah. This is not going to be a swear-free episode. I've already- Alright. Alright. Fucking hell! Okay, can we sk- <laughs> No, I can't let it beat me. Ah, that son of- that freaking delay. Okay. No. Ah. Man. This is definitely one of those levels that's gonna need a cooldown afterwards. I hope that was already that was planned. I have no idea what the next level is though, so maybe it isn't. Okay. Ugh. Are you kidding? Okay, we're seeing if there's a skip. Can we skip now? Seriously? Ah. Oh yeah, this game comes out March 18th, so I'm not sure if this video will come before then or fucking god. Um, 
They didn't send embargo information, so that means I have to ask, which... If you're gonna send me a game, just tell me when I can, you know, if it's before release. Just tell- Ah, oh, son of a- oh, no. It's definitely one of those things you need to get the hang of the... Both the level and the general timing, son of a- <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure this level goes here unless we have like already entered the hard levels. Because this is... Also, I wish the restart was just a little bit faster. I've said this many times, but son of a bitch. <laughs> um, said this many times, but uh, quick... Just a little bit less than instant restart can be incredibly infuriating compared to an instant restart. Ah. This one isn't too bad, but it's also clearly not instant. And at least at this point, and mashing doesn't skip it. I don't really mind if mashing skips, as long as, you know, mashing isn't too annoying. But, uh... Damn it! Son of a fucking... Oh my god. Ah, fuck. Okay. Okay, so... I can't really do the thing that I meant to do. Ah. Okay. I think it's open now. No! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, that one being right at the exit is so infuriating. Ah. Oh my god, this entire video is just going to be this level. Oh my god. There is no mercy in this level. What 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 happened? This was pretty chill until this level. What what Is this how the entire rest of the game is or is this just a weird difficulty bump? Fucking Ugh. I don't get it. Ah. No! Fucking! Oh my god, even if you're jumping, sometimes it's still so easy to get hit. <sighs> what? I don't know about this level. This feels late game. We are definitely not late in the game, oh god. <sighs> uh, I don't know, this is why... Puzzle games should kind of have... Oh my god. Level skips are, you know, a pretty common feature in puzzle games these days, and th th this is kind of why. Oh boy, okay. And the annoying thing is, I feel close, but there's no such thing as close in this game. At least not, not in this level. Whew. Oh my god. Okay. See this up. This level doesn't seem too bad. So I guess it depends. Oh, maybe it is. Depends how many tiers we have to go down. 
Ah, we were close. Okay, fire. Ah, son of a bitch. Yes, yes. No! So close. See, close doesn't really mean anything in this game. At least not while these turrets are in the level, which I'm kind of feeling that this is going to be a thing, that just everything is turrets. Fucking... Ah, wrong button. Definitely tests your coordination here. <sighs> okay. See, that's more like that. What? See, these levels... Ah. These levels aren't too bad at all. What, what, what happened there? I might have to like edit that one. It was so bad. If I if I skip stuff, it's just like five minutes of me playing the same level. Possibly, actually that definitely felt like more than five minutes. Ugh. Feels a little rude that I can't see where the spikes are gonna be. Oop. I almost forgot about that dude. Ah. Oh, come on. <clears throat> okay. Let's wait for it to fire. And right, now we're pretty much good to go. Ah! Oh. Okay, hang on. Ah! Oh. Press the wrong button again. That's. Erg. Okay. There we go. See, I'm, I'm liking these levels way more. I think that level might need some moving to a later point, because that was, like, that was a boss level right there. Maybe that's intentional, maybe not, but if it's not intentional, I, like, that's definitely not a smooth difficulty curve. But sometimes it's alright to have, you know, a harder level and then, you know, a, a breather. But I think that was a little too soon for that level intense of intensity. Considering I die like 18 billion times. And then I die like three times at most in any of these others. Oh, fucking... Okay. How do we get the bottoms of these? I think I gotta jump from the blue up to the red. So blue, lasers, off! Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that first, because that's, that's tricky. Okay. It's interesting on this one, you can block, if you're careful, you can block the shots with B, but you know, that might also get you killed, so not really an escape hatch, necessarily. I need to not waste the double jump when I'm doing that. Okay. Ah. But if I don't use the double jump, then I might get in the block. Ah, oh, come on. I'm trying to go too fast at this point. This is not Sonic. You're not ready to go fast, my child. Okay, just, just chill out and do the B first. Okay. 
That is... Uh, that jump to get the bottom red one is pretty intense. I think we're good now. Whew. Ah. <sighs> it's not quite how I meant to end that. Aw. Okay, so to get all the way into the heart, I need to do this and that. This is a cute one. And relatively chill. You just have to not activate the layer that you're currently sitting on and, like, crush yourself. Oh, and there's just enough so we have to... We can't be entirely in the heart. I see. That shooting sound effect is going to be burned into my very soul. Alright, fire. Very antsy around those turrets. Oh! <laughs> I see. Interesting. So this is gonna be up, up, ah, oh, dead. I guess we can sort of save ourselves if we just go on an another thing. No spikes? Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. I should have known. I should have known to be rude like that. I think that one was safe. And this one was. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. It's the bottom red. It's the bottom's red. So let's just go straight to the bottom. <sighs> Not quite like that. Is this safe? Yes. I think the red was safe, and then that one isn't. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Keep pressing the wrong thing. Oh, I double jumped early. Okay. Okay. Ah! This level really tries your. You know, which button is which coordination. Which, this one's probably going to be a lot easier for people more familiar with the Xbox button colors than I am. Ah. Whew. Alright, what, what level count are we on? Alright, let's get to level 20, I guess. And then we'll call it a, a video. Don't need to show the whole thingy. Now these, I think, I like these a bit more than the turrets. The turrets are kind of... The turrets are getting me all stressy. But this is a bit more tactical. Ah, fuck. I say as I jump into the spikes. Tactical spike jumping. Oops. Okay. Okay, that was... That was actually extremely dumb of me, but it worked. That's what matters. Ah, fuck. Okay, let's do blue now. Okay. A little more fuck. God. Never mind. Okay, I'm starting to get most familiar with where blue are. Yeah, where the blue ones. Are. Fuck. 
But the blue ones are. So let's just get those out of the way last, because I feel more confident about not landing into spikes with them. Okay. Alright, so that one is very safe. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. What level is this? Okay, two more levels. We're back to turrets already. Just get these yellows out of the way, there's not too many. It's one of those games where I'd really like to see it speedrun, but I'm, I'm not gonna learn it to speedrun it, sorry. I don't- I barely have time to play, like, games that I own once, let alone, like, you know, 18 billion times. Sorry. Ah! That, I think, is the biggest thing that would keep me from ever speedrunning, not, you know... You know, it's it's not entirely about you know motor skills and stuff. It's a, a lot of it's just you know, not just, but uh, it's dedication and um, I don't really. You know, I play tons of games, so I don't really think I could just play one game and just neglect others. And I also wouldn't want to. It's of course very high stress, and I wouldn't really. Oop. I have exactly way too much stress already, so whatever. Oof. Alright, not too bad. This is our level 20. Oh no. You're gonna make me regret going to level 20, aren't you? Ah, yes you are. Alright. Eh, not too bad if you take it slow. <laughs> I need to go back and see what level that was. I I think I might ask what the deal is with that one, because that's kind of... That was... That was like endgame level difficulty. I don't... Okay, let's go back and see. Uh, we don't get previews. It was like way early, wasn't it? It was like level 10 maybe? Uh, so maybe it was supposed to be boss level, because you know 10. But yeah, that was a big roadblock. Let's see what our options are here. So we got decent... Oh! We got a colorblind mode. That's that's useful. Because yeah, red red and yellow as a major differentiator is not super colorblind friendly. But that's actually a nice, simple solution. You know, you just just changes the red to white. Which should work for the most color, common kinds of colorblindness. Let's see ya. Not sure what the particles. It's not visible on this, at least. Yeah, some some reasonable graphics options. Take a peek at the credits. Game by Daniel Davis. Music by Eric Danielson. Level design by Eric Larson. So yeah, that is Prio. It's coming to Steam March 18th. Maybe this video will be on March 18th. I don't know. But yeah, it is. Wait, can I see how many levels there are? Fifty. Yes, fifty levels. So we've seen. 20 of the easiest ones anyway. There's endless mode. Oh, let's let's check out endless mode real quick. Oops. Oh. Well, I guess I should have expected it to be different, because you know endless mode. So yeah, it's got an endless mode too. Wait, what was the other thing then? I oh 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 man. I my body is not ready for this. Wow, okay. I guess you could just advance and miss things, because, you know, it's just about score, not completion. Alright. Level editor? Oh! It's a controller-friendly level editor, too. Oh, this is really cool! Yeah, I'm kind of wondering what levels people could make with this. Game isn't... That's the... Is that the... Oh, no, that's a turret. Save all. Can you... Destroy level. 
I wonder, is this... I'm not sure this game's Steam Workshop enabled on Star... I'm not sure the delivery method of... Oop! Levels. What, what, did, what did it do? Oh! It, it's opening the Windows save dialog. Okay, that's a little jarring. Because the game's in full screen. But whatever. I don't I don't need to save my trash level. Level editor. Hmm. But yeah, this is Prio. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I still judge you for level 10, though. I'll, I'll never forgive. 